Now, the Black Stars' wait for a Nations Cup title has been extended to 37 years, at least for now, after Ghana failed to make the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations final last night. Michael Ngadduo and Christian Basogog both netted in the second half as Cameroon beat Ghana 2-0 in Franceville to set a date with Egypt on Sunday. So clearly, the nines are out and the postmortem has begun. So let's try to make sense of all that's been happening joy sports george Ado jr joins me in the studio george yeah great stuff <laughs> i didn't want to give my heart to the stars but i eventually had to do it yeah. and i'm heartbroken really sorry what about went that. wrong really sorry about that it was coming anyway i i think we we're hoping that the team would be lucky once again and that the flaws would not be overly pummeled by the opponents but in this game it looked like it was just there for us so before the competition, there were a couple of things we're talking about. Um, who was going to score the goals for the Black Stars? We didn't have a reliable source of goal. I think it was the same situation that Tunisia found themselves in, and it actually uh, disturbed them. So we had who? Asamoah Gyan making it to the Africa Cup of Nations. We had um, Jordan Ayew. We had Ebenezer Sefwa. And we had Bernard Tekpite, who was relatively unknown. Uh, Abdul Majid Waris and Rafael Jamina were dropped before the competition. And mm. most of were asking because... Majid White had scored quite a number of goals. Rafael Jamin as well had scored quite a number of goals. Uh, between them, they had scored more goals than you put a total of um, goals that were scored by those who were sent to the Africa Cup of Nations. And knowing that players like Didi Ayu were not fit, you know, Jordan Ayu was going to be very difficult to, to come in and do it. After all the noise about Jordan Ayu, it was just one goal he scored. As Jan had to come in, even though he was injured, to score mm. the goal against Mali and created the penalty against Uganda. So one of the key things that we failed very bad at was not having a reliable mm. source of goals. And that was heavily because of um, Coach Avram Grant. That's one of the key faults. Mm. So for you, we knew our problems, yet we did not solve them and yes, went ahead yes, with them that's, anyway. That's, that's fault number one. We knew it, and we spoke about it, but he said he's got the men to do the job. So I'm saying, when you needed goals, why were you bringing on the likes of Ajiman Bedu? Why mm. didn't you bring on those men who were there? Even as Sifo had shown the 2013 Youth Championship, World Youth Championship in Turkey, that he could do something. He wasn't giving a chance. Bernard Tekwitea wasn't giving a chance as well. So on the side of goal scorers, he scored so low marks, and I wonder why these players were allowed so to go to So for you, you think that Avram Grant did not make... Good yeah. decisions yeah, he didn't in make terms good decisions. of who he selected. But yeah. <laughs> beyond that, you realize that Jordan Ayew had also tried 40th minute to score a goal after he received that shot from Machu. Yeah, uh, and we still missed a lot of chances. Yeah, uh, Jordan Ayew has a, has a history. And, and we know what Jordan Ayew has done. So why? Fine. Jordan Ayew, even if he was going to score a goal, he was going to score just one goal in the game. Was that going to be enough? Because the Cameroonians scored two in the end. So clearly... Uh, from that point, Avram Grant missed it, and he knows that he was supposed to send in or send in a team that he could rely on when he came to who was scoring goals. Jordan Ayew hasn't proven that he is the exact replacement for Samoa Jan. Mm. So if you're going in with Jordan Ayew and an injured Samoa Jan, it was only going to be prudent to get in players who were on form and scoring. Another thing that he failed to do in, in the build-up to that was, yes, Baba Rahman uh, got injured as a left-back, and he had to replace him with a winger. And he tells you clearly that we didn't have cover. Truly, if we had two central defensive or central centre backs injured, we wouldn't have had um, a, a cover. Mm. So the, the, the squad didn't have cover. It wasn't balanced. Clearly, these were the problems that we had. And all our openings were running to our left so channel. George, because we, the league we, wasn't we, there. We're speaking about challenges. Where do we go from here in terms of reorganizing ourselves for the battle ahead? I hope we truly decide to do this because it's, it's, it's a full thing. I don't know what the criteria one is for players who go into the Black Stars. The last three, four coaches who are taking over the Black Stars have not provided the criteria and stuck to the criteria. So as we stand, we don't know how you want to get into the Black Stars. Because when I look all around me, there's the argument that there are 23 million coaches in Ghana or whatever. When I look around me, I think there are better players who could have probably been in this. Let's say that argument. But the crucial point of our team not having a live wire in terms of youth players that give us the future that will say we have a great future. We don't have it. When we take our team under 17 teams to the World Cup or to the African Championship, 
then we drop them. Under 20 teams to the World Cup, then we drop them. Then we start focusing on players who are doing well, who have a sort of a linkage, mm. you know, um, to or have, or have maybe Ghanaian backgrounds, how, and we're chasing players all around. We haven't cooked anything. Our Ghana Premier League is not producing anything for the Black Stars. So where do we go? We're just standing somewhere with no support, no foundation. There's a dream in our heart. Is it ever going to happen? Is Ghana going to win the AFCON again after so long, how, over 35 years? I, I can't say for now. All I can say is it's going to take even longer because I'm looking at the teams that came to this Africa Cup of Nations and there were youthful teams all around. Zimbabwe have a future. Algeria have a future. Tunisia do have a future. Ivory Coast have a future. Cameroon have a future because they have put in young players to do the job for them. I only see this group of young players maturing at the next Africa Cup of Nations. And guess who is hosting? Cameroon is hosting the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. I expect them to win that. And after that, Ivory Coast will host. So maybe we get a chance in 2023. Now it's dire and we need things to be done rightly. Gone with those days when the Black Stars performances were covering all the, I mean, the lapses in administration. We need to sit down and get things up and running. I know after, the, after we've gone out of the competition, we'll scream and, and everybody will just forget about it and we'll come back to it. But this is where we are. We are not likely to make the World Cup in 2018. We have been, we are not going to win the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations and this is how it's looking. So we must go back, sit down and reorganize. And it must start from the top to down. George, we are going to face Burkina Faso. What do you see? Well, I, um, Ghan Ghanaians have not been interested in third place games. And so in this game, Burkina Faso will want to beat Ghana mm. for the record and be third. But I, I just think that, look, I just think that the Black Stars uh, coach um, Avam Grant should allow the French players, those who didn't play, just play this game. I mean, we have 15 players he sent to the competition and, and he's yet to explain to us what he was using those 15 players there for. So those 15 players who have not had a chance, use them in this competition and allow them to play. Let them play against Burkina Faso. Let them have fun. Let us see what the future of the Black Stars is because that's what we are asking ourselves uh, right now. Where is the future of the Black Stars? So let's see them. Let's see Bernard Sekwete. Let's see Ebenezer Sifwa. Let them have fun on the day against Burkina Faso. We are not really interested in bronze or whatever it is. Ghana is interested in winning the trophy mm. and neither didn't get that. Anything can pass. So I think that in this game, we should allow them. You'll yeah, be them. very emotional we'll, about we'll, this, No, I, I, I don't think I'll, so. I'll come to you shortly. Uh, okay. I'll come to you shortly. But we also know that the Black Stars of Ghana lost by two goals. And that's something we've been discussing. 2-0 uh, in yesterday's semi-final game against the indomitable uh, Lions of Cameroon. With the performance of the team in the preliminary stages, many Ghanaians were optimistic the Stars would qualify to the finals of the ongoing AFCON and subsequently end the over three decades trophy drought. But that hope was dashed yesterday as the stars succumbed to the pressure from their opponents. We were out on the streets of Circle to find out from some Ghanaians what they feel about the match. Yeah. I don't understand our coach. Coach, we are going to for a keeper here to dig up what them. Is that going change keeper now? to use the local players. Mm. You have to use the local players because the foreign players, they all have their own money already. You understand? Mm. So if you use the local players, they will motivate. If you motivate the local players, they can play very well to, for Ghana to go, move forward. Mm. So you have to, it's time for us to use the local players now. It's all good. But the way I see the point is going, the coach play ball with the Ghana, our coach. He didn't play ball with the Ghana. I don't know the reason why. If uh, you are you are win, you are won the goal. You won't go, and you don't have you don't have the goal, and you do changes like this. I think the coach no good for me. They for change it. Uh, I felt so sad because one, if not is still the GFA boss, the Ghana can never bring any cup mm. to the country. Uh, especially, he, 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 has, uh, he has to be sacked from his position. The goalkeeper has to be dropped. Some of the key players have to be dropped and bring in some fine local players and strikers. You know, these Cameroonians brought in more of their local players than the foreign based ones. If you continue to be bringing these foreign based players, then there will be sudden headache. We prepare them a lot which is too bad.
Obviously, Ghanaians are not happy about what happened yesterday. But George is still in the studio with me. And George, you're going to bring us some views on social media. And I know a lot of people are venting their anger on social media. What are people saying? Well, quite a lot, really. And, and I'm sure some are targeting the Ghana Football Association. Now they're talking about Razak Braima, <laughs> Elvis goalkeeper. Let's start with Elvis Edubuating. And he says, with all due respect, the handlers of the Black Stars, <clears throat> I can go there. <laughs> and he says they, they didn't do the right thing for allowing crappy store goalkeeper turned, uh, uh, you know, goalkeeper to play for Ghana. This is one that's targeted at Razak Braima. And he says on the flip side, Grant's uh, easy stops were ineffective on the, from the onslaught. Immediately, Aqua and Pati were stopped. The Black Stars went off. These players showed class last night. And however, I was expecting Grant to take out the weights for Ayu brothers. And they had a terrible game last night. Going forward, we must appoint a local coach who will give the other players the opportunity. Let's clean the house. That's coming in from Elvis. Now, how about Kofi Jazzy? He says that wrong time for wrong negotiation. In what capacity did Honorable Asiyama go there to slash the Alawa, Adi Alawa? Somebody who has not yet been approved, uh, too known, and it has cost us dearly. Really, really, mm. I, I, I disagree. But anyway, of course, we have to go into your comments now. Uh, Bright says that no coach has total control on Ghanaian football team. See the selection. So it's managed by the GFA and, of course, the GFA selfishness regarding our aims to that. And that's what I was saying, the critical thing about who gets into the team and yeah. how the person and gets into the team. And I think I agree with him on that too. <laughs> <laughs> so you mean there are a couple of players who are connected and will be in the team anyway. Because I know a player on the Black Stars, he's called Edwin Jima. He's been called for the last six, seven years and he has not played a game for the Black Stars. I wonder what's happening there with Edwin Jima. I don't know if it's some sort of... Uh, let me take it easy. Now, Evans Damo says, when you have a goalie who is ill-managed and speaks to, uh, what, uh, Ghanaians, you expect a cap for Ghana? No way. Mohamed Hadi Idris says that when you get the GFA and captain us somewhat Jan politics, the Black Stars, how can you expect winning against Cameroon? So more of the, more of the messages going in. Now, um, let's do this from Roland Boateng. He says, if Jordan Ayew is going to be a leading striker, then it's going to take us 100 years. He That's makes an so important unfair. point there. <laughs> you think it's unfair? I think yeah. he's making a point. Jordan Ayew has proven that he cannot be a one man on top. And, he's, and his return is not really good in terms of what Samojan has done. Remember, Samojan is close to 50 goals. There we've got. Now, uh, Wisdom says, it's about time we sack all of them from the GFA, the players, and, <laughs> and jail them for uh, causing Ghana. I mean, he's talking about um, financial, <laughs> financial loss to the state. Now, Todia Koshi says that when you throw a ball to the wall, it definitely is going to come back to you. So I'm wondering which ball it was, because I'm sure Razak Brahim is the man who threw a ball, and it's all coming back to him. Uh, truly, when you look at the second game, mm. I mean, the second goal, you say that John Boy and uh, Razak Brahim mm -hmm. really cost it. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to communicate. I don't know how a defender can go as low as John Boy did and flick on that header. That was the best assist. But you see, sometimes I also wonder, don't you think that these comments, comments like these, because they are also on social media, mm -hmm. could affect their morale as well? No, but they, they have to understand. That's why I was talking about the communication team of the Black Stars. They must understand where they are positioned. They are going to receive a lot of criticism. And it's all about them and how they deal with it. Okay, so don't worry. Ghanaians will go on like this until you give them a trophy. They don't really care. Now, mm. we've got one. Now, this was the one that really got a lot of people very emotional. Former Ghana defender Samuel Sekofo was left disappointed after the Black Stars failed to reach the finals of the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations and has called on the Ghana Football Association to sack under fire manager Avam Grant. Now, the former Bayern Munich defender working as a pundit for South Africa-based paid TV Super Sports ripped into the former Chelsea manager as the chief cause. And George, for the I, team can, I can understand his pain. I saw that video of him, yeah. the scream and the excitement yeah. when Ghana scored yeah. in the previous game. So you can understand why he's venting his frustration here as well. Yeah, and you see, there's a lot of talk, a lot of talk about what Adam Grant was doing. And most people were worried about how he was going about his work. We said we didn't see the depth in squad. He wasn't paying close attention to the work. He wasn't monitoring as we expected. And he sent a, a, you know, a bag of players who really didn't have what it takes to be there. So you ask me, is Razak Brahma the best goalkeeper for the Black but Stars? But let's I also no. face it, is the problem all about the coach? Yeah, the coach is a, is, a, is a primary problem. Then after that, you go up. And when you go up, you ask, who appoints the coach? If the coach is misbehaving, or if the coach is not doing what he has to do, who says, stop this at so this why point? So don't we, why don't we look at this thing as a human body, where if the right hand does not function fully, it affects the left hand. Yeah. Why do we always want to just blame the coach? Asking for you, a Ghanaian coach. We've had one before, haven't we? Yeah, we've had one before. What changed? In this case, you cannot, you cannot really force the fans 
to decide who they want to vent their spleen on, truly. I mean, as I stand here as a journalist and I can say Avon Grant is part of the problem. The bigger problem is the GFA. Even the bigger one is the sports ministry. Then we can look at that. In but this case, allow the so funds to go and have a go. So if you so change the Grant mm. and the other problem still persists, you don't think that you're but going to move forward anyway? This is so simple. You change Grant and then you also look at the other departments of the Black Stars because the goalkeeping department we're making a lot of noise about. Today, the goalkeeper's trainer, Nassam, is, is the man who decides who is definitely in the post. We can consultation with Avon Grant. So he's directly... He's directly responsible for Razak Brahma being in the post, and we're saying he's not the best. Now, some more comments here as we go into this. Now, Manya Cocker says, let's learn to call a spade a spade in this country. What has the coach done? When we have a football team supported by its management only interested in how much, I'm sure, they will get before, and even looking at how to win a cup, what can the coach who is a foreigner do? Great question. Uh, we all supported, or we all supported the Ghana FA to high grant because of his competence. But what has happened when he came here? Ghanaians who should have been acting in the interest of the nation and manipulating everything he does for their personal gains. That's an important one as well. Because coach is coming with clean slate. I'm truly. interested in what evidence he has when he says um, manipulating everything. Yeah, when he says manipulate, because he's expecting some decisions to be taken. If you wanted to sack Avon Grant, you have a chance to do that before the FA Cup of Nations. He doesn't understand why some FA members will be worried about Avon Grant and be granted interviews to say they'll have an interview and all. Because when you, when you, when you go back to Razak Brahma's issue and all that he said to Ghanaian, some said, okay, Avon Grant also used uh, a BS word as well. And it's been ongoing. So there we've got. Ohenba Maigi says that I totally agree with Sami. All those blaming Razak, etc., are wrong. But Grant is the one to be blamed. He put him there. Now, Felix. Jogosi says, does Avon Grant look fit? He doesn't look too well. Well, that's not about business, he's really. He's not I the mean, one on the pitch. Uh, he's not the one on the pitch. <laughs> 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 now, now, Sunny Abdel Shakur says that, uh, what nonsense. Is Grant a player? Was he, in the, was he part, of, part of those planes? <laughs> so he just answered it. Uh, but not Jay Ronnie says, I don't agree. It's the fault of the players. Master, if you go to class and your master teaches you and you <laughs> later fail to write the exam or you write the exam and fail, you should sack your master. Exactly the point I've been... Uh, I've no, been no, no. But the master must also assemble players that can do or assemble people that can do the job. Your master must teach you what will make you win. If your master is not interested in how you can win the battle, he will give you wrong tactics and you lose. You can't expect to win the Africa Cup of Nations with a winger who is playing left back. That's one. And you can't expect to win the Africa Cup of Nations when your defense is in the 60s and 70s. It's very clear. So it was only a matter of time on who was going to take advantage. And Cameroon did that very well. Prince Nuruddin says that very disappointed. Uh, Winneba Simpa says also disappointed. So that's the average of what's going on. Mm. Uh, the analysis will go on. It's going to be really, really tight this afternoon across all the platforms in terms of uh, how we dive deep into this. But I want us to come to that consensus. We say we have to work on all the departments of the Black Stars. We have to deal with the Ghana Football Association. Mm. Things must be done. We need a future for the black stars but you As know we stand, we these have. these points these comments on social media just reminded me of something that has always gone mm. through my mind what sort of psychological preparations do we have for our players because a lot of things depends on the mind yeah a lot of things depend on the mind think, so yeah. that if you're going in there and you feel weak and you you think that you'll be defeated then you're definitely going to be defeated we heard uh, are you mm. this morning yes. on 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 radio they saying that game. exactly it was a bad day so you go in with that mind how are you going to <laughs> you know succeed so i'm just wondering do you know what kind of psychological preparations they have before the game well we have a, we have a team psychologist and i feel the team psychologist is not doing what he's supposed to do because when i see a player score i go and cry i think a lot of work has not been done when i see a player go onto facebook and rant because he's been criticized a lot of work has not been done so communications department psychological department of the black stars really need to work out there <laughs> judge you said that you you were thinking that the the french team would score us Burkina Faso. predict how mm. by how many goals uh, I, no problems in fact i'm not worried about this you know, allow the young boys to play, let them have fun. We're not worried about bronze or flowers, nothing. Let's just go out, allow the young boys to play. How many goals would you predict? I really don't care. You really don't care? Really have don't you care. given up so soon What already? I want is the boys, the young boys must play. Let's see the future of the team. That's the next question he needs to answer. Thank you very much, George Adujuni. An interesting comment as well from social media. I'm sure you also have a lot to say as well. You can post them on our Joy News page on Facebook as well as Twitter and WhatsApp pages. You're still watching Joy News Desk on Joy News on Morty TV. When we come back, we'll bring you more. My name is Beatrice Teddy. Stay with us.